welcome 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 now take a look at your hands are your hands like soft and smooth are they fully hydrated or are they looking a little dry a little rough and just really not looking as you would want them to be well in this video i'm going to show you the best way to use petroleum jelly to get rid of dry hands or wrinkled hands or rough hands to soften those hands and also guys to help your hands to stay fully moisturized now if you're like me this time of the year especially your hands may become dry and especially if you are like me who constantly wash this my hands every minute of the day this i use on my hands and it has really helped since i'm using two humectant in this remedy that keep my hands soft supple and hydrated so if you're looking to use petroleum jelly here is a good way one of the better way to use it on your hands for the most effective result first i'm going to reach for the vaseline also known as petroleum jelly and what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to be melting it. Now, petroleum jelly has been used for centuries on the skin. You have to get rid of cracked lips, chopped lips, knees, elbows that are extremely dry. How it works is that it is a humectant. And a humectant helps to lock moisture in the skin, prevent water from escaping from the skin. So that is why when you use petroleum jelly on the skin, it helps your skin to be hydrated especially your feet knees and elbows in a short space of time so i'm going to be melting the petroleum jelly so i'm going to reach for about a tablespoon or so and then i'm going to place it over a double boiler if you want this to be faster just go ahead and stick it in the microwave for a couple of seconds now i like to take my time to work mine in so i'm placing it over some hot water and I'm going to keep stirring this until the petroleum jelly is melted. Now this is going to take a few minutes, probably about two to three minutes or so. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to slowly mix and I'm going to mix this in. Now when I was growing up, we used a petroleum jelly all over our skin and also our nails and our ear. We normally mix this petroleum jelly with coconut oil and that is our ear oil right there so i'm very much familiar with petroleum jelly and i know petroleum jelly got a bad rap from you know because of petroleum but this um has been using forever and so far if you really know how to use it on the skin you, you can use it and get the best result so now that our petroleum jelly is melted what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add some oils to this some quality oils to this the first oil i'm going to use is some vitamin e oil and vitamin e oil helps to hydrate and nourish the skin so i'm going to use about uh, three to four drops of vitamin e oil and you can use more or less depending on your iu we're going to add this to the hot petroleum jelly and we're going to mix and we're going to mix well next i'm going to reach for some uber oil and this is an oil that i personally like to use on my hands rich in vitamin a vitamin c and vitamin e after hydrates and when locked in with the petroleum jelly it keep the hands soft and supple all day long once you do not rinse it off so i'm going to use about a teaspoon for this recipe i'm making a small batch if you want to make more go ahead and double up on the ingredients my next oil is going to be some marula oil marula oil is also a great oil to use on your hands and i'm using about a teaspoon of the marula oil also rich in vitamin c and vitamin e so now we are going to mix and we're going to mix well we're mixing some petroleum jelly Oba oil, vitamin E oil, and marula oil. And now I'm going to reach for my final ingredient. And my final ingredient works on the skin just like the petroleum jelly. It is honey. And honey is also a humectant that locks the moisture in the skin. It, however, has antibacterial properties that help to prevent bacteria from forming on the skin. Honey is also great for hydrating the skin two powerful ingredients that's gonna get rid of your dry hands so go ahead and I'm using about a teaspoon of the honey and I'm mixing this in and I'm mixing well a powerful remedy for dry 
crack ants a powerful remedy to hydrate your hands a powerful remedy for those of you who are constantly in water constantly washing your hands and if you're like me who hands are always always dry especially at this time of the year so now once this is done we are going to reach for a small jar. Remember, you can double up on this if you want to make a more. This amount will last you around about a week, even if you use it at least two to three times per day. So let's pour this out. And now here is how you use petroleum jelly on your hands for best result. The best way, the best remedy using petroleum jelly for dry hands. This is also good to use on your lips and it is also good to use on your feet. No need to store this in the refrigerator, store it on the countertop. Now, if you're gonna use this on your lips, you can go ahead and put a dash of peppermint oil in it. And this is gonna work perfectly also as a lip balm. Use it on your hands as often as you wash your hands. Use it on your feet nightly if you so choose. And most of all, don't forget your cuticles. This I personally use once I wash my hands right at my kitchen counter, right in my bathroom. It is right there so that I can just hydrate my hands with this immediately. Good for the entire family, male and female kiddies grown people doesn't matter this is just perfect for your hands thank you all for watching you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to share and don't forget to leave a comment Now, if you are looking for some creams to use on your hands, go to alexmaxi.com. We do not have a special hand cream. What we have, however, is our aloe vera gel. And we tend to mix the aloe vera gel with uh, some oils, and that is also going to make a great cream for your hands. So go ahead, do your DIY, mix up your stuff, and shop alexmaxi.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.